Hi, my name is Dan and I'm a mental health pharmacist and I'm going to be talking about a medication class called SSRIs. SSRI stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors and serotonin is a neurotransmitter which is a chemical messenger that your body uses to send signals from one area to another. And serotonin is associated with increasing happiness. So these medications work by when cell A releases serotonin, it will bind to cell B. And your body doesn't like to waste anything, so cell A kind of has like a vacuum pump that will suck the serotonin back into cell A to reuse it. And these medications kind of clog the vacuum pump, so the serotonin stays out longer. And over time, that's associated with an increase in happiness. To provide a little history about the SSRI drug class, the first SSRI, Prozac, was released by the FDA or approved by the FDA in 1987. Um, Prozac's kind of become the poster child for the drug class. It's used in a lot of book titles like Prozac Nation and um, it's mentioned in the media a lot. There are a few different medications in this class. so. The common ones that I see most often are escitalopram, which is brand name Lexapro, citalopram, which is brand name Celexa, sertraline, which is brand name Zoloft, uh, fluoxetine that I talked about, brand name Prozac, paroxetine, which is brand name Paxil, and then finally fluvoxamine, which is brand name Luvox. So there are a few intricacies and differences between the medications in the drug class. So that's usually what your doctor or psychiatrist would work through to decide which one would be the best fit for you. Serotonin isn't just used by the brain though. So even though they're called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, it only means selective for serotonin, not just selective for the brain. So it does interact with serotonin in other parts of the body. So this causes a lot of the side effects. Besides your brain, your gut is a big hub for serotonin receptors. So a lot of people will get GI distress whenever they start using the medications. Upset stomach, nausea, diarrhea. Um, also headaches are fairly common. And the final side effect that I usually talk with patients about is sexual dysfunction. Other than sexual dysfunction, the GI and the headache side effects are normally transient, which means they are there when the medication started, maybe when doses are increased, but they usually go away after using the medication for a time period. If they do stick around, that would be something to talk with your doctor about. Another benefit to the SSRIs is that they are very common medications. So doctors, pharmacists, other healthcare providers would be very familiar with these medications and they would be able to answer questions readily. So that wraps up a quick overview of the SSRI medication class, and I hope that was helpful. Thank you.